Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very interesting and important concept related to binary image processing and that is center of mass. Okay, what is center of mass? That is nothing but center point of our binary object. Okay, and roughly you can simply say that suppose you are considering this particular knot present in our this particular image, you can say if you just find out this particular not all the coordinates then you take average of all the x coordinate average of all the y coordinate and that average value will give us one approximate center of mass right and that you can apply for any binary object that will give you the fundamental idea of or one rough idea of the center of mass right now how we can use the concept of center of mass in our image processing Suppose I am giving you this particular image and asking you how many knots are present and how many bolts are present. Give me those values. Now if you simply apply BW label on the whole image, you will be getting total number of binary objects, distinct binary objects present in this image, which is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, right? Now, I want only nuts and only nuts counts and only bolts count. Now you can simply observe in this particular image that for all the nuts, the center of mass will be situated at the hole. The center of mass for nuts is not present in the main binary object. It is outside the binary object in the background part. But for the bolts, you can simply conclude from the fundamental concept of center of mass, whatever you have studied in your school level physics, that for bolts, center of mass will be present inside the object. Okay, And using this particular concept itself, we can count nuts and bolts values. How? See, first of all, this is our binary image if we want to convert. See, objects are black color, background is white color, but generally in morphological operation, we take background as black color, object as white color. So first of all, we will convert this to binary image and we will take negative of that, that is, we will complement the whole image, then we will apply labeling, okay? And as, as application of labeling, we will be getting individual binary objects on particular label. Then for any particular label, labeled image we will take all the x and y coordinates and we will take average of all the x coordinates and average of all the y coordinates and that corresponding point rounded average values are approximate center of mass for those labeled objects and we will find whether that labeled objects are in background or in the foreground okay if they are in background that means those are nuts if they are in foreground that means those are bolts as simple as that so here i have written the simple code CLC clear all closure warning of x equal to complement of im binarize rgb to gray im read nuts and bolts dot jpg im so x let me show you that particular image okay so this is my image where you can clearly see bolts and nuts are binary object now what we are doing we are applying labeling on that a b equal to bw label x so a will be giving us labeled image b will be giving us total number of distinct objects present in the image. So if I just run this particular part and do evaluate selection, I will be having my original image and along with that if you write B and hit enter, you will be getting 12 because there are 12 distinct objects in our image. Then we are making count equal to 0 for counting the nuts and then for n equal to 1 colon B, that is we will iterate the distinct, uh, iterate that many times which is equal to distinct levels okay total number of levels okay so one colon b b map equal to a equal to equal to n understand it very carefully so initially n will take one then two then three up so on up to 12 right so for n equal to one we'll try to find out for our label image which values are basically matching with n that is that particular level if matching that will be one if not that is if the condition becomes false it will become zero so b map will be basically nothing but our one binary image having ones only for that particular level and zero for rest of the case so rows and columns we will find where where b map equal to equal to one that is we will find out those coordinates where 
bmap that is for that particular level the image is existing then we are taking mean of that and then as i have told you we need to take round operation because our uh, image uh, pixel cannot have fractional coordinates okay so if x that is our original binary image x round of rc comma round of cc equal to equal to 0 that means if that is background right see here if we are considering nuts the centroid will be present in the background part right so that's what we are checking if round of rc comma round of cc equal to equal to 0 that means if they are situated in background count equal to count plus 1 and as a result after the execution of the whole for loop we will be getting total number of nuts present in our image so control a evaluate selection we will be getting this but we are not interested in the output let me just show you the count value and hit enter we will be getting 6 let us check 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 nuts present right and how many bolts simple b minus count okay b minus count okay you will be getting again 6 and you can check here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 bolts right so this is how you can apply the concept of center of mass along with labeling the connected component and make some wonderful project in image processing simple simple mini projects this you try to implement and apply in different domains so your concept will become stronger and stronger okay same code will be posted in the description box this is all for my this video thank you for watching